Hey, and welcome to Out of My Head. Today I'm in a very bluesy mood, listening to some Blues Brothers. But today we're going to talk about some news. I got three things lined up. They found a new Bill Murray, Bill Murray movie from way back when. They released a trailer for a new eighth season of Doctor Who. And we're also going to be talking about... Let's see... Oh, yeah! Weird Al released his first music video for his last album. I've watched that, I've seen that, we'll be talking about that. So stay tuned, and we'll be right back after this clip. Transformers! It's the evil Constructicons. Decepticon vehicles built to destroy planet Earth. More than meets the eye, they're robots in disguise. And the Constructicons combine to form the dreaded Devastator for really big destruction. But the Constructicons on Earth big trouble. The heroic Dinobots, Snarl, Slag, and Grimlock. These massive monsters transform into mighty robots. They'll blast those Decepticons into extinction. Transformers! Transformers Generation 2. Dinobots and Constructicons each sold separately. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Um, so I told, I mentioned something about Weird Al's first video for his last album. From what I understand, his new album, uh, Mandatory Fun, just came out. It's his last album was retiring after this album as much as it I mean, I'm sure you'll, you'll still see him around, but it's um, it's called Packy, and it is effectively early 90s. It's very everyone's wearing Clash of Colors. I mean, it looks like something you would have seen in the early 90s. It's got a range of guest appearances, medium. to see them. Uh, it was absolutely hilarious to watch Jack Black as he's dancing around in his tacky outfit. And uh, quite honestly, it makes a point and it's really funny and I love it. So there you go. Uh, I'll leave a link down below if you want to go and watch the full thing. And um, flying invaded us having our planet. Washington, London, Paris, Moscow are key targets. The whole world is under attack. Can it survive? Alright, so we have an official trailer from BBC, from Stephen Moffat, from the Doctor Who Season 8 story. Um, it's exciting. It's going to be a good time. I'm, I'm excited to see it. It looks like he's going to be playing a lot of the first Doctor. Like, he's going to be relating a lot and using mannerisms like the first Doctor, since this, technically this is first generation of his next 12 lives, so um, it's going to be exciting to see him do that. Of course, the big question is whether or not he's going to go and fight Gallifrey and bring them back into the universe. It'll be exciting to see him do that. And in the future, if he does that, it'll be exciting to see them explore the Gallifrey uh, mythos and see him do some storylines on Gallifrey like they did Classic Who, see them expand on the universe and the way in the community and life and the way things are set up and because you know we, we have some stuff from the 50th anniversary special but as far as Gallifrey is concerned you have to go back to the most of the classic and try to absorb this so I mean I think they could take what's in the classic stuff and I think they could update it a little bit and I think they should explore more of the Gallifrey uh, just plan it. That's the whole point of bringing it back. It gives you an entire place to go and play around. Tie him to a little bit. See what he does before he runs off for another 11 generations. So, you know, I think it'd be interesting to see that. I'm hoping for that. Uh, but yeah, we see a lot of quality. He's questioning who he is. Uh, it's, it's kind of, it's going to be a little bit of an identity crisis. But it's going to be fun, and I think we're going to see a lot of good stuff coming our way from it. So uh, we'll be right back after this, and we'll talk about the newly discovered Bill Murray movie from the 1980s. The tape you're watching is just a taste mwah, of the Cartoon Network. An appetizer, a mere morsel of what you can expect from the first and only 24-hour Cartoon Network. <laughs> 
Stretch Armstrong, I will destroy you! Introducing Vac-Man, Stretch Armstrong's arch enemy. Use the super-sucking vac bump to turn him into a mutating monster, then stretch him to villainous proportions. He stays that way until you press his cybernetic button, but will this be the end of Stretch Armstrong? Stay tuned! Batman and Stretch Armstrong, sold separately from Cap Toys, who else? Here we, are. Here we are at Toys R Us. Toys R Us, the official headquarters for World Wrestling Federation merchandise. Mean Gene reminding you that WrestleMania is sweeping the nation. And right now, you can get great World Wrestling Federation merchandise at Toys R Us, including wrestling buddies from Tonka. How'd you like to hug the Ultimate Warrior? How'd you like to bonk Hulk Hogan? Or wrestle with royalty in the Macho King, Randy Savage. Here's something I can really warm up to. An Ultimate Warrior Slumber Bag. What about the official World Wrestling Federation ring? An official World Wrestling Federation Championship belt. And all of the great action figures from our good friends at Hasbro. Right now at Toys R Us, when you buy World Wrestling Federation merchandise, you'll receive free autographed pictures of superstars like Hulk Hogan, the Ultimate Warrior, and, uh, and the Legion of Doom. Now you got the picture. Hey, you guys are perfect. Perfect. Sensational? Sensational? How am I going to weasel out of this one? Weasel? Don't crush me. Crush? Don't smash me. Smash? Get me out of here. Oh, what a rush. <laughs> we'll see you at Toys R Us. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to talk about today is that I found a new story. It's a new story about a 1984 sci-fi film from Zach Galligan. And Bill Murray. It was directed by Tom Schif uh, Schiffler, and it's called Nothing Lasts Forever. Essentially, what it is is it's a lot like Dead Men Don't Wear Plaid, and they took a bunch of different scenes from old shows, old black and white movies, and they uh, they edit it together, and then they throw everyone in, and they shoot them in black and white on top of all the the stock footage and they make a movie all of its own so the main star it was the main character from uh, Gremlins so he's in this, this is, he's fresh off the first Gremlins movie in this uh, Bill Murray is in it Dan Aykroyd's in it and a few other Saturday Night Live people are in it uh, Bill Murray isn't actually the star but the the way the article reads it grabs you by saying new Bill Murray movie so uh, but yeah, this is exciting. I'm a fan of Dead, w Dead Men Don't Wear Plaid. I always enjoyed it. I'm a fan of Steve Martin, and this is very, very similar to that, that type of movie. So, uh, Patrick Warburton. Patrick Warburton had something sort of stylized like this that he did. Uh, well, that might have just been more of a no noir movie. But, uh, regardless, right now you can find it being uh, offered on YouTube for free. Uh, you should definitely check it out before it goes away because Sony's had it for a while and they don't know what to do with it and it got leaked. They never intended to release it as far as I know and it got leaked on YouTube. So check it out, watch it while you can before it gets pulled. But uh, otherwise, this is, uh, this is Monday. Um, Wednesday will probably be a short episode. I'm going to try to have a little bit more of a schedule. Uh, scheduled episode. And it'll be short because I'll be working that day. And then, of course, I'll be working on Friday, so the Dominion review will be, uh, will probably be a little late. But, you know, we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and we'll roll through. We'll see what I can do. If I can put everything else together. Um, but yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see you back here on Wednesday and we'll, uh, we'll see what we're doing. There might be a bit or something. We'll see you then and I hope you have a good week. So.